Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. And today we are going to be continuing on with my ranked handbag series and today's special brand is Rebecca Minkoff. In that corner of the island, so that's where your light lives. From stunning quilted designs up to edgy things that we have not seen before, we are going to be looking through all of the Rebecca Minkoff bags and we are ranking all of them. Now, if you guys love handbags, hauls, fashion, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, please hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube algorithm. <laughs> For those of you who are new and don't know, this will be a tier list ranking. And starting, we got the A tier, absolutely stunning. Those handbags are absolutely stunning. We got B tier. I see you. I see you, boo. You're a cute bag, and I got my eyes on you. C tier. I'll borrow the bag. My cousin, she's a stylist. She got a bag. I'm gonna borrow it. And D tier. If you like it, I love it for you because someone needs to. Shady bitch. Sorry. Shout out to the subscriber that has mentioned Rebecca Minkoff to me and let us move on to the first Rebecca Minkoff bag. First up, we got the Lou shoulder bag. I think this is a cute bag. I like the design. I like how the chain is like half and half. I like how there's a hook in it. I like the design. For me, it's a B tier. I see you. I see you. And you know, if you go on sale, you might just end up in my collection. After the shoulder bag, we got the Lou cross body bag. Now I'm gonna throw this one into C tier. It's cute. The leather on this one looks really nice as well. But I'm just going to have to say it is C tier. I like the effort put in with the front of it, especially with that clip, the clip like in the leather or something. I don't know what's going on there, but it is cool. That's what saves it from being D tier. Don't roast me. I just, you know, E for effort. Next up, we got the Jet Boxy Crossbody Bag. Instant A tier. Instant A tier. I love the front of it. I love how there's like two like pouches and like I, I like the construction of this bag a lot and I would actually see myself using this and thoroughly enjoying it. After that stunning bag we got the Julian Backpack. The Julian Backpack has a very sickening, striking design to it. It's got three zipper compartments, one down the middle. One down the middle. Sold already. The construction of this bag is, is astonishing. Astonishing. I really enjoy the construction. And it it's a really cute bag. B tier. I see you. I see you, boo. You're so cute. And I see you. What's my body count? What does that mean? After Julian, we got Megan. The Megan tote bag. It's a it's a, it's cute. It's cute. I've been noticing a lot of the this type of construction of like tote bag around like every brand. I uh, I guess it's just a popular thing right now. But it's C tier. I'll borrow it. I will borrow it if it matches my outfit because it's it's still cute, but I wouldn't put my own money towards it. Or if somebody gifted it to me, I'd be happy. And one that I wouldn't borrow is the Megan feed bag. It literally looks like a feed bag. 
<laughs> like you would go up to your horse or like up to your chickens feeding them or something like I, I I'm just keeping it real it is D tier if you like it I love it because they made the bag for a reason they made the bag for a reason and it I was not that reason now that we got Julian and Megan out of the way now we got Darren Darren really really Darren First up, that Darren tote bag. Easy C tier for me. It's I like it's a night bag. It's a tote bag. Like it's a it's a tote bag. I don't know what y'all expect from from me. <laughs> y'all know tote bags just aren't my thing personally. But it's still nice. It's still nice. I would borrow it. I would borrow the bag. It's C tier. But the Darren Top Zip Shoulder Bag and the Darren Top Zip Crossbody Bag. D tier. It's a D tier for me, sis. They are just not it. They miss the mark, in my opinion. Hence, if you like it, I love it. Because they made the handbag. And they had somebody in mind. I was not in mind when this handbag was being made. So it is a D tier, but I can understand why somebody would like it. it it's cute. It, like, ish, I guess. You know what I mean. Now, probably the only Darren that I actually kind of like, it's the Darren Top Zip Satchel. I'll throw this one right into B tier. I see you. I see you. And out of your brother's... And sisters, you're kind of cute. You're kind of cute. Next up, we do have one of Rebecca Minkoff's iconic handbags. The Chevron Quilted Love Crossbody Bag. Now, this is definitely 100 million thousand percent a Chanel boy bag dupe. 100,000 percent. You could not tell me otherwise. It is a Chanel boy bag dupe. Nothing wrong with it, though. It's B tier. For me, it's B tier. It's cute. It's cute, you know? I don't actually like the Chanel boy bag much, if at all. So, you know, this, it's, this is still cute, though. As well, this bag took me by surprise. It's the chain bucket bag. Easy. A tier. A tier. I love this. I don't, I'm not huge on bucket bags. I don't own one yet, but some bucket bags really catch my eye. And this is one of those bucket bags. Period. <laughs> Next up, a bag that is not A tier. It's the exact opposite of A tier. The Bohema or Bo Bohemi tote bag D tier. If you like it, I love it. I don't like it. Like, it. I understand if somebody likes it, but it is just a whopping no for me. It is a whopping no for me. Before we head into the iconic Eddies, the Eddies. Oh my gosh, the Eddies. We got the MAB, the MAB, 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 whatever, crossbody with studs. It's C tier. It's C tier. It's cute. Like, I wouldn't mind borrowing it if it matched an outfit of mine when no other bag does. But that's about it. The studs on it, they're cute. They I They're I It's C tier. Like, I... That's about it, you know? And then the MAB or MAB hobo bag. I don't like this. This is probably my least favorite out of all of the Rebecca Minkoff bags listed today. This is my least favorite. I fucking hate you, girl. D tier. If you like it, I love it. No redeeming qualities for me. <laughs> and for the final handbag line, we have the Eddie's. The Eddie bag line. Oh, I'm excited for this one. First up. The Eddie Crossbody Bag. This is an iconic Rebecca style. I'm gonna say A tier. A tier. It's giving like some sort of YSL dupe and it's cute, but giving its own edge at the same time. Love it. 
absolutely love it. And the construction of the bag looks actually half decent too. So I wouldn't be mad buying one at all. It's absolutely stunning. As well as the Eddie Flap Shoulder Bag. A tier as well. A tier as well. It's just like a slightly larger version of the crossbody. Still really cute. Really like it. I like the crossbody just a little bit more though. It's still A tier though. Because, you know, they're both absolutely stunning. We know I love my quilted bags. After those stunning masterpieces, we have the Eddie Top Handle Satchel. I'm going to throw this one into B tier. I see you. I see you. Maybe give it some time. Maybe give it some time. Maybe I'll, I, maybe it'll be an A tier, but it is definitely B tier. And the only Eddie bag that is even close for D tier is the Eddie crossbody with woven chain. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't like this. I think it looks cheap. I think this bag looks cheap as all could be. It looks like, no. If you like it, I love it. D tier. I will not hate you if you like this. Don't hate me because I hate it. I just, I don't, no. Something went wrong in the creative process when making this. And it's just, it's just not cute in my opinion, okay? But one that does have my heart currently. And this is the final bag on the Rebecca Minkoff ranked video. It is the Eddie maxi shoulder bag this is going right into a tier a tier my favorite bag on the list y'all know why if you have been here for some time you know exactly what this bag looks like to me it looks like the yves saint laurent the ysl lou lou puffer it looks like a, an amazing Lulu Puffer dupe, and I would love to have this, honestly. I think it's sickening. I think it's sickening, especially with, like, the chain and everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gorgeous bag. A tier. Absolutely stunning. I could talk about this bag for a while. Let's just say that. It is sickening. Now that we have ranked all of the Rebecca Minkoff bags, are you new to the brand as I am? Have you known about them? Do you purchase from them? Let me know. What is your favorite bag from Rebecca? I would love to know. And without further ado, I'm going to show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. In a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Rebecca ranking video. I have my eye on some of her bags. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I really like that Maxi Eddie bag. It looks exact, not exactly like a Lulu puffer, but it looks strikingly resembling to it. I love. It's cute. If you own it, please let me know your thoughts on it. Is it a good bag? I don't know. It's sickening though. It is sickening and I would not be mad buying that at all. Anyways, I love you all. If you guys did enjoy today's video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had. Share with your friends and family. As well, check out that description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, I had a brain fart, and the Discord notification squad. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you beautiful faces in my next video. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was good. I, I... I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no, show's over. <laughs> show's over.